Another very good example to use events to make your sheet interactive is uh, like you can see here a few uh, items in the list and if I scroll down and up you can see the color uh, of the cell changes accordingly and uh, the selected cell uh, is green rest of uh, all are violet and also uh, neighboring cell color is also following it so this can be achieved let's say you want to create this thing from scratch so now we are on to sheet 3 uh, here you see the list again but there is no such action uh, happening here because we have not written it for sheet 3 we have written the logic for sheet 2 so we go to sheet 3 here we will be adding an event now you can see that action was basically on selection change so we need to use worksheet selection change event right so there is nothing happening with the value change only with the selection change as i move up and down the background color of the cell was changing so the event we have identified is worksheet selection change and target is actually the new cell which you are selecting so let us put the limit for example right now i am on cell q20 and if i put my cursor here the target would be d13 next time if i move to d16 the target would be d16 all right so we need to put a logic that uh, i want to limit this thing only in this region when i'm talking about column 4 and in the region uh, row number 13 to 19 so i put a condition here if target dot column equals 4 and target dot row greater than equals 13 and target dot row less than equal to 16 uh, it's not 16 it's 19 so if this is true in that case we want to do something what we want to do we want to change the background color so target dot interior dot color index equals we will we'll pick up a color uh, let's say i pick up 10 uh, for for 10 let's say let's see what happens now when i uh, change the selection it changes the color now one important thing is when we make a selection uh, it changes the background color to green now next time when we move to another cell it doesn't revert the changes of the previous cell so every time we need to make sure that when we are on uh, any cell let's first clear the background colors of all the cell so before this we can say range since we are in column d and from cell d13 to d19 so we put a logic here d13 t till 19 uh, we can say uh, interior dot color index set it to 2 2 is for uh, white right so initially it set it to white and then it changes the color of selected cell if i move outside it is not doing anything if i select multiple you can say see it is changing the uh, color of multiple cells also and if you want to also change the uh, background color of the neighboring cell so that is also a tricky thing uh, because we are have a, a reference of target only and we want to talk about the neighboring cell so we need to use offset function so target dot offset with offset we can specify uh, which cell uh, we want to talk about neighboring left cell neighboring right cell neighboring upper cell or neighboring down cell so we want to stay in the same row therefore we will put zero here but we want to shift one column left because we are talking about the left neighbor so we'll put minus one here and for this cell we want to change the background color also interior dot color index let's make it uh, black so for black the color index value is one and here also we need to make sure that we are changing the uh, background color for uh, let's say all the cells including c as well as g so this way uh, we can make our uh, excel sheets more interactive if you want to set a default color uh, instead of white something else uh, you can select that color let's say i put three three is for red so this way you can move so you can play with it and uh, make uh, uh, your excel files more interactive uh, using these tips and tricks thank you